YTBC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison back again for the next video. Alright, let me go ahead and I just want to talk about Berto. Andre Berto versus Josecito Lopez. Andre Berto. Uh, let me just go ahead and start, okay? I know this is going to sound kind of weird. It's going to sound kind of crazy how I'm going to come at Berto, okay? Lopez, you lost to Andre Berto, okay? You lost to Andre Berto, but here's the thing, though, okay? I thought the referee, this is the worst referee in history, y'all. This is the worst referee in history. People, this referee stopped this fight, and Lopez is a warrior. He is not out until he is asleep. Lopez is a warrior. I thought Lopez could have continued, okay? Some fighters, you really, you know that they can't continue and they can't go on. But Lopez really had no indication of that. I mean, I thought he was, he could have went on. And I think had he been allowed to finish the round, he would have got to the next round and he'd have beat Berto. Listen, Berto sucks. It's just no way else to it. Yeah, Berto has great hand speed, okay? he's He's got great hand speed. And I like the fact that he's got some hand speed. He's got a nice piston-like jab that he knows how to pop. See, he's got some good attribute, but he sucks. Here's why he sucks. Berto has been fighting the same way since I've seen this idiot fight. He never moves his head. His head was, that big bean head of his was target practice. That big watermelon bean head of his was target practice. Lopez was hitting him at will. He was hitting him with combinations. I mean, Lopez actually was winning the fight. He was ahead on the cards. On my card, anyway, Lopez was ahead. He was winning, okay? Berto sucks. And that's just the way it is. And I think, honestly, if any normal C-level fighter get beat by Berto, you suck too, okay? Not only does Berto not throw enough, he don't throw enough, okay? His defense is terrible. Y'all remember when Berto was trying to do a shoulder roll and then he got knocked out trying to do the shoulder roll? So I guess now he abandoned that. Oh, he ain't, he ain't do that this time. He was still getting beat up. Lopez was beating him up, okay? I, I think the fight, I don't know. I think Lopez could have continued. I think they just did not want Lopez to win the fight. That's what I think, okay? And the ref kept, you know, coming up with little excuses. He kept, see, when he gave Lopez that warning, I said, well, Lopez finna get, Lopez, Lopez finna take one to the behind on this one. Lopez finna get one in the behind in this fight. I said, watch. And I kept calling. I kept telling my boys. You know, I'm sitting up in here in New York right now. But I was telling my boys. I said, look, man. Lopez is finna get screwed. I promise you, without a shadow of a doubt, they're going to find a way to screw him. And the ref stopping the fight after the second knockdown. Clearly, the, the guy was cohesive, okay? And really, Lopez kind of took a knee. You can do that as a fighter. You can take a knee. The second time, I actually thought he went down on his own accord. The first time, Berto hit him with a good shot. The second time, he went down. And he was trying to get a breather. I, that thing, boxers do that all the time when they take an abuse and punishment. But I think Lopez wanted some time to collect his head, get his, get his head together, and then go back at it. And then Lopez was going to try to clinch him. See, I knew what he was going to do. He was going to try to clinch him and hold him for the remainder of the round, get through the round, get his legs back, and then come back and dominate the fight again. See, it was just one thing. The referee didn't let it happen. I just don't see, outside of Berto's quick hands, and a, and, a, and, a, and a really good jab from Lope, uh, Berto, I don't see any skill set. Any C-level fighter could beat Berto. Any C-level fighter could beat him. I mean, look at all the fights he done been in. And y'all yeah, ever see Berto face, like whenever he get into a, a boxing match and it go to distance? Berto looked like he done got stung by a bee and he had an allergic reaction to it. You know how a person face swell all up? That's how Berto be looking after his fights. Berto sucks. I, I I just don't know any any other way to say it. He's not back. Let Berto get in the ring. Let Berto get in the ring with a B level or above fighter, and Berto is gonna get B. I think Berto probably need to go ahead and hang up the gloves. I mean, Berto, it was a good run, bro. It was a good run. You know, you made some good money, and and, and you know what? Won't you become a trainer? You know, a lot of guys in the sport of boxing, <coughs> Freddie Roach, a lot of guys in the sport of boxing become Hall of Fame trainers trainers that they, they really wasn't that great in the sport a lot of guys do that Berto you might have an eye man you might have an eye for training fighters you might have an eye dude I'm pretty sure you do okay dude I even watched your sister your sister's an MMA fighter hell she move ahead 
your sister, your sister move her head when she in the ring. Why you don't do it? I mean, come on, Birdo. You got some good. Birdo could be a good fighter. See, that's the thing. I'm not bashing Birdo. He could be a great fighter, y'all. He could be good if he just learned how to move his head, slip punches, got his defense together. He'd be a phenomenal fighter. But I thought Birdo had a crap game plan. He ain't even put together punches well, man. I'm sitting here looking at now. I really fell asleep on Birdo. I woke up at the end of uh, Ariola and Harper. I woke up at the end of that. But Birdo put me to sleep, man. God. The dude, and, he, and, and then too, another part that make me mad about Birdo. The dude don't listen to his corner. His corner telling him to put together more punches, Andre. Move your head, Andre. You would think he'd get that through that little, that darn watermelon portobello head of his. But he just refused to do it. It's like, what is moving your head like a disease to you? Like your neck. I mean, Birdo, we know you ain't got no neck, but you can move your head. You can move your body. Birdo was just, Birdo was just a guy. He was a brick wall with fast hands. I, I'm, I'm serious. He was a brick wall with fast hands. And that's all it is, okay? You know, I, I you know, I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Y'all tell me. Do y'all think Birdo really is finished? Do y'all think he's finished or do you th still think that this, this, this human speed bag with legs got, you know, still got a career? Drop me your comments in the, in the comment uh, section of this uh, video. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.